Hi everyone. Um, and so I just thought we would sort of have a general chit chat about what colours we're choosing, how we're going about it. And I wanted to just talk about your yarn choices and stuff like that. So if you've got any questions, then do ask. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through what I did initially. Um, we were all in lockdown, obviously, and I had a huge pile of double knit, um, which um, I decided to make a shawl with. And in this shawl, there are so many different um, bits and pieces from various projects. Um, and I've got Colour Lab and Fibre Space and patterns, Diploma Gold, and stuff I bought about 20 years ago um, and just kept because I thought it might come in useful. And I kind of arranged it on the floor in sort of colours and sort of grouped them tonally, so lightest to dark. And then I realised I had so much blue wool. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I that's my go-to color and I'm sure that lots of people have that kind of thing where you just get stuck with a particular color and blue was my was my color so I thought well this is going to be really jolly and it turned out really jolly so this is the reverse side um, and so you can see I started off with green went through yellow into sort of mustard, brown, red, bit of fibre space there, into pink. Um, and then on the mosaic side, it's blues and greys. Um, and it just works. Crochets are really forgiving textured fabric that you end up making. And so you can get away with a lot more mad colours than I think in knitting, personally. Um, so I hope that most of you have chosen what yarns you want to use. And if you haven't, then I hope that we can show each other what we're using and you can get inspiration. Because I know that sometimes people feel nervous about putting various colours together. And I think this kind of project is very forgiving. And if you don't like it, you can rip it out, Annika Stevens, can't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> can I interrupt you there? <laughs> so I've started with the double knit. I don't know if you can see the colours. Um, I like the top half, but I don't like what I've done at the bottom. Because I think it's too brown, too purple. Okay. Too, it feels regimented. Okay. Uh, does that does that make sense? I'd like something a bit more flowy than yeah than regimented. So I'm on the cusp of pulling it out. Pulling it all out. Yeah. Why don't you just make another one? <laughs> well, she had. You have made another one, haven't you? I have made another one in uh, full ply, in full ply as well. But I wanted to use up some of some of the the double knit that I've got. Um, but I find it hard not to, you, whereas you had said about putting the colours out together in a line. Yeah. I find that really hard. Right. I why, but I do. So I put out all the different colours and I found that I've got many uh, fawn and brown. Hmm. And actually it doesn't always work for me with those sorts of things. And it's just trying to just... Yeah, a bit, a bit more flowy. What do you mean by regimented, Annika? What do you mean? Like predictable it's, or? Um... It feels regimented. It feels like I've gone from blue to green to yellow to purple. And is that in your yarn B or your yarn A? That's in my yarn B. Okay. So do you, have oh, you, yarn. Sorry, have you got different tones of blues? and yellow. No. <laughs> so you've gone from one colour to another and um, that may be why yeah. you feel it's a bit regimented. Yeah and also I've been using um, changing every five or three 
Yeah. I approve of that though. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> I <laughs> no, like it. <laughs> it still feels a bit too regimented for me. And, and it's, I suppose it's just learning to let go. Yeah. And be a bit more organic. I mean, it might I help like you if you think about different tones of those colours. So yeah. that from a lighter to a darker and then switching to the next colour, which may have a shade which is a bit closer to the one you've just done or so that it flows more rather than having separate. Yeah, which is, which is works why I'm going to pull it all out. <gasps> and oh. I don't mind pulling it. I honestly, I, I used to be like that and I'd be like, I can't do it, I can't pull out. But now I think, oh, why wouldn't I pull it out if I don't like it? Because what else am I going to do with it? Yeah. So it's, it's only it's only some one stitch yeah. at a time that you're pulling out. You're not, you know, it's not. It, it's, very it's, yeah, out. it's not important anymore to to have things that I don't like. It's important to have things I like. Yeah. So, Sam, is that advice you would give for both yarn A and yarn B that it flow in in like from color wise? So something's close yeah. to that color on the color wheel. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how familiar people are with the colour wheel and colour theory, no. um, but it, it's, you know, it's red, blue and yellow. So if you imagine they're on, they're in sort of a sort of a triangle shape in a circle and then all the other colours fit between and you can think about complementary or whatever. And so just have a look at that and then throw it away and just forget about it because... Oh, that somebody was start showing us the colour wheel there. I've got a colour wheel. Yeah. So that's all very well and good, but I, I would really honestly start with what with what appeals to you and then hold things up next to it and see how how that affects that colour. Because some some colours help others to sing mm. and others sort of mute them. And you just don't know how you're going to feel about it because you've got your own taste. And that's really important. Um, I went to um, a, an exhibition of, of quilts. This is years ago at the V&A. And they had what they referred to as a Victorian crazy quilt. I don't know if we've got sewers here. We have. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so there were all like different shaped bits of of odd material all in this crazy way connected and they were connected with yellow stitches and those yellow stitches helped all of the other pieces of material to join together and sing together and I had always avoided yellow before because I find it quite a difficult colour. But now I can't just, I can't not have it in some way. <laughs> because if you, if you place it amongst lots of other colours, it brings them together and it, it, it makes them very joyful. And I really, really like that effect. So if you've got something that appeals to you, if you're a pink person or a blue person or, you know, people tend to wear particular colours don't they oh I do I wear navy blue all the time I've got some green on today but I wear a lot of navy blue. but I find that you can really mix colours together um, and you can see I've got a bit of yellow in there so I always put a bit of yellow in and I've even bought myself a bright yellow cardigan now I I love yellow <laughs> I think it's personal choice, but then test yourself and put some other colours with it that you wouldn't ordinarily think about and look at and just physically look Oops. at how that affects. Oh, that's a nice place. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, how that affects other colours. Yeah. Um, can you just explain how it how it works? Because like, say, for instance, if you've got one kind of like I'm thinking about maybe using one of these batik. Oh yeah, yeah. Can anybody see that? I don't know if anybody can see that. Yeah. This batik swirl for one thing. Yeah. 
there's like yarn a and yarn b sorry i haven't got the pattern yet so i don't so know that will be what one of your so that will be either yarn a or yarn b so this could kind of go all the way through it but that then could go all the way through it and then use um but you will probably need to adapt as you go because i think that batik range has got quite long color changes mm -hmm. yeah Maybe. So you could um, change if that if you said that was yarn A. As it changes colour, adapt what you're doing with yarn B. So can you show me on that thing that you've crocheted the, the that one? Which is yarn A and which is yarn B on that? Okay, so my yarn A on this is. Um, the greys and the blues, which are the mosaic triples, and then the yarn B. What's what's that church doing there? <laughs> oh, that, sorry, that's me. It keeps appearing. I've um, put a I've put a sticky over my camera, so you can't actually see me, but you can still see my background. Right. Okay. So this is yarn B. I can't see you, Sam. I don't you know. Can't see me at all. Hold on, I'm trying to make her replace spotlight. Hold on, I don't okay, know. There <laughs> okay, now I can. So, so on this side, you can see that the blues, the greys, and the blues are more prominent. Yeah. So that's say say that's yarn A, yeah. and then yarn B is all of these different colours on the back. All the greens, the yellows, the browns, the pinks, the reds. Okay. And that's why you want a contrast. You want it so when you've got that the bar yeah. that comes down over your batik swirl, you want to be able to yeah. see it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so use something, a solid colour or solid colours going down. So you could use several different colours and adapt. A, a react to how your batik swirl is changing colour. Yes. You yes. can contrast it and see. I don't know about yellow. <laughs> I know, I know you think yellow, um, but I, I've bought myself a yellow cardigan. I, it's completely doable, <laughs> really. I never liked green and I've actually got a couple of green things now. I do like green as well. <laughs> 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 but I think you know it's tempting to get to always stick to those um yeah. those colors um I yeah. don't know I, I don't think Laura's with us is she no um Laura's cerise pink she she has everything cerise pink but she yeah. she puts other colors with it yeah um and she does it very well but she always has cerise pink <laughs> <laughs> just a pink kind of girl yeah, yeah. And I was going to hold mine up, Jan, to say that my yarn A, I don't know if you can see it, is right. a variegated one. Ooh. Oh, okay. yes. So this is your full ply. Oh, yeah. This is my full ply mm. one. Oh, that's beautiful. And then if I turn it to the other side, because I had some sock wool, but it was all the same colour. So it's all just the green. Oh, wow. It mm. was my yarn B. Yeah, um, and I think it's worked out. I, I really like it That's because a really nice subtle um, yeah effect there. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. Can uh, I ask you, Annika, how much yarn did that take? More than two two hundred gram skeins. Um, it was no, it was just over a hundred a hundred grams of the of the A. Okay. And, um, and how much of B? B, I think I had two balls, but I'd already wound them, and I'm I, that might that would probably be a hundred grams as well. Because we've been had folks in the shop, and I wasn't sure how much to tell them a four ply. So we get yeah, so, a hundred yeah. grams, like four hundred yeah. meters each skein, and hopefully yeah. that would be enough. Yeah, yeah. Really? and I've just I've just um, uh, put it through that wool wash from your shop, I can't yeah. remember the name of. You <laughs> can, yeah. There we go. And it's, I mean, it's other outlets, but yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just turned out so beautifully soft yeah. and um, yeah. flowy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that's a really lovely effect too. Mm. You don't have to go for the big bold stripes. You can you can actually make it quite subtle. And I I've started this one. It's got a bit of yellow in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice really one. different. That's really yeah. so you can you can go for a more regimented yeah um wow. So look looking at that Sam, what what is club colour B A in that one? Is it so the crook white? With this grey. Right. And then colour B is, is the yellow. The yellow and the teal it's like an emerald. Mm. Mm. Nice. Um, which is in there, and then there's an emerald green, the same in here, but with a darker sort of teal colour. And then I've got sort of a, a navy blue, which um, so you you know this is a louder kind yeah, of more yeah. prominent pattern, but this one's more subtle, but still, mm -hmm. I really like it. See, I, I've got all my colours and I took out all the subtle bits and just stuck with the big, bold, bright colours. Yeah. Because I thought that would be easier. But actually what you're saying is to sort of grade it better. Yeah. I can do that, but I just thought it would be easier yeah. just to stick with mm -hmm. a sort of grey going through as my colour A, because I yeah. had loads of that. And then I've yeah. got, I've got yellow and, um, yeah. you know, all these sorts of um, <laughs> colours, which I was going to just work yeah. through. But it'd be a bit regimented if I don't put some subtle things in. Okay, let's see those colours. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, those, um, those are the others. Oh, and wow. I was going to have a grey, because I happen to have loads of grey left over from a certain mosaic. And you can certainly do that and, yeah. and, and, and get started with it. And if you don't like it, then change it. That's what yeah. I'm saying, is just see how yeah. it fits and just be free with it. And um, you know, and if you if you want a more structured approach, then do a structured approach. And if you want to just see how it turns out, then just see how it turns out. It's a really easygoing pattern, and it's for you to decide what your approach is going to be. And hopefully, that will be an enjoyable process. I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. But I wanted, are you going to do a, zoo, um, a little video of how to do the mosaic to remind us? Because I know it's we did on, something before, but I can't remember. Yeah, it I is on YouTube. It is oh, on is YouTube channel. I start yeah. the shawl off and I also do the mosaic triple. Because if if you've done mosaic in the round, which was the last crochet along, this mm. is a flat mm. worked one and it's slightly different. So. Do I just go for Sam's Easy Peasy Shawl on YouTube? Um, go to Wool on the X YouTube channel and then you'll find it there. Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, I think there's a link to it. So if you go to our website and you click on what's on and you go to um, the cow, I think it, I think it does say easy. There's a link there. Isn't yeah. It? And yeah. on that page, there's a link to our YouTube channel if you can't find it any other way. <laughs> on, okay, on, you, on YouTube, do you explain how to start it off as well? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so um, the, the, the last thing I wanted to, to sort of mention before anybody has anything else to say is your hook size. So um, I am an extremely relaxed crochet so four millimeters does me fine with double knit but I know some people have um, particularly knitters they ha they often have a knitter's hold with the yarn and they're quite firm with it so that's they're, they're tighter than I am so do experiment with hook size as well um, particularly just you know you, you can easily go up a couple of sizes and it it mm, will I have shape oh really oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, didn't Laura say she went from what a 325 to a four and a half with her? Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm using a five because that's the only one I could find. <laughs> that would be perfectly brilliant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it's been frogged a few times. So it will probably be frogged again, but it does seem to be the right tension. Yes. Good. 
yes I think five is absolutely fine um so we've all got our own way of holding the yarn and and mm. I've, I've noticed with practice knitters they do they are they are quite usually quite tight crochets they've got that tension thing with their finger that's, that's really interesting because I'm always being told that my crochet is tight. Well, you're a fantastic knitter, Jane. I'm a knitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, so a bigger hook to me. Is a that what you Just a have, hook. A, have, a, have a try out and again, just find what suits to you. Yeah. So. Does that count as yellow? <laughs> <laughs> sort of a mustardy yeah. colour. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, I'm just saying about yellow. You don't have to have yellow. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> but it, it was it was just a bit of a discovery for me. But um, yeah. now, when Susan came in the shop, and I think I I hope I gave you the right advice, Susan, <laughs> because we were thinking that her yarn A, well, actually yours is going to be one the same color all the way through, and then she has three contrasting colors for yarn B. I think that could still look very pretty. It, um, it, but, yeah, you'll you know. get really different effects, and yeah. that's mm -hmm. all as well. You know, yeah. enjoying and not having something that you've really made for yourself or for a friend who that's oh. what you've made and interpreted yeah. from the pattern. Yeah. It'll keep me warm on a winter's evening. <laughs> oh, gosh, we need it, don't we? My we gosh. do. We still have to have the heat on. It's great. Yeah. Still got the heating on. <coughs> yeah. Mm. So, so can, I, can I just ask something more about the colour, Sam? Yeah, sure. About the colour. So I uh, don't have um, any, really any double knit um, <laughs> leftovers because <laughs> um, I don't, I suppose I don't make that many garments. I use lots of single skeins and I make something. And any sort of bits of wool that I've had, I've taken in over the years, I've taken them into school to do with the knitters in school. So I don't have that. So I came into the shop and I looked um, in the sale place and I got some lovely um, yarns. Let me see if I don't know whether I'm holding, I can't see myself, so I don't I'm know. Going, whether... Hold on, I'm going to make you bigger. Um... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, you can't see it at all. Hang on. What? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I have oh, to do it. Oh, 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 the merino. <laughs> so I've got the merino. So I've got kind of these are the subtle ones that I've got. Mm -hmm. Then I got these two as bolder ones. Mm -hmm. And then what I did find, because I'm a bit like, I love orange. Ooh. <laughs> kind of like yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I also got this. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, and I was quite kind of oh, okay. But then I've been hearing people saying about how it could look regimented. And it's not, it's certainly not going to have that flow that Annika likes. But I, but now that I've got the wool and I've bought it and it's, and it's not using leftovers, I think I might try and go with that what do you think yeah I mean um personally I would put it out on the floor and put it into tones yeah and decide what is what the tone of your yarn a is going to be but it's going to yeah, change I've kind of got that so like these real pale ones mm -hmm. yeah would, would be the, the yarn a the subtle side yeah. and then I would bring in I like the brown I'm uh, yeah. uh, the orange and, and I like, I like that that sort of combination blue. of the blue and the orange yeah, that's and nice. yeah. yeah. so I, that will look I, I can either do great swathes of each colour or I could you know muddle them up a bit yeah I guess that, that will be yeah. just seeing yeah. what it looks like um I think those colours were great sorry yeah. I really like those colours yeah Oh, good. That's given me a bit more, a bit more confidence. I was beginning to doubt myself. Loves a bit of orange. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love orange. Yes. That just reminded me, Jane. Thank you. That um, I think in our previous crochet along, we we did something on on weaving in as you go with the ends. Oh, okay. so you don't have to sew them in, but it depends on what you're using, really. So I'm using cotton with this. And so I'm going to have to sew these ends in 
because cotton is too slippy and it will work its way out if you just crochet over it. Ah, nice. So just bear in mind, I mean, if you've got lovely woolly wool, then that will knit itself together and you won't have any problem with weaving in as you go. Um, and if anybody wants to see that video, it's in the trellis cow. Um, yeah. Yeah, video on our That's YouTube. On YouTube. Channel. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so anybody else got anything to... Ella, I know you've got lots of colours to show us. Oh, hold on. I'm going to spotlight her. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there she I'm is. up in my room. They're all downstairs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll put them in the, um, in the Facebook group, though. I'll put a photo in. Okay. The way I did it is I, I, I really like Sam's blues, and I, um, I got lots of blues from light to dark on one side. Didn't realize I had so much blue, but I did. And then on the other side, I've got um, yellows, oranges and pinks. So I've just, I'm gonna do um, the blues running from dark to light and then the bright colors, because they're so bright, should stand out, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. lovely, lovely. Give it a go. <laughs> oh, do put a picture of your choices up on the Facebook. I'll Great. put that in there, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Has anybody else got any yarns that they want to talk about or ask anything? I'm a bit I'm a bit like Jane. I haven't got any double knit. Oh Amy's Amy does. Add spotlight. There's Amy. Yeah. Oh, so um I completely changed my mind from the uh, vivacious that I bought in the shop the other day and I had a look around and I had I started having a I started off um in the vivacious. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I couldn't quite get the tension right and I thought it felt quite wintry and I didn't want something wintry I felt like you know spring's here gets me a bit nicer um so uh, it's a little bit of a sad one actually so um, my grand taught me a lot of my knitting and sadly we lost her for covid oh, and then um, I really wanted her to knit me something for my wedding which we've also had to reschedule um but then I thought actually this is a really nice pattern I'd quite like to maybe crochet myself something um so I started off with like a pink and a cream okay Ooh, that's um I think the light's not very good here sorry it's all right so and that is is that double knit this is double knit and then I sort of was getting stuff around like as you were chatting and I've got some sort of like nicer kind of light quite bridally sort of colors and like whites and creams and then I've got this lovely a color a lilac a kind of something blue wow. um, and a nice mint so I think that will be my my yarn B. Is that B no. or is that A? I can't remember which way around it is now. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's A, that's B. Yeah. <laughs> oh that'll be beautiful. They're lovely. They're very lovely gentle simple. and soft and yeah. yeah which is what you want. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean I I, I like colour and I thought well pastels are probably as much colour as I will get going with a with an ivory wedding dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you so can put your vivacious back if you want to. <laughs> what size hook are you using? I went for a four and a half. Yeah. Um, because I, because I started off with the vivacious one, I, I know that's quite a thick double knit, so I thought well, I'll go up a size. And I, I, I was quite interested in your comment earlier because I am an, a knitter. I've been knitting for about eight years now, so I found it very very tight. And I have actually I have actually ironed that out a little bit, and it's okay. made it a bit more. Pliable. Yeah, I mean, it will all, it will make a difference when you block it yeah. and you stretch it out um and you can be you know quite strict with it <laughs> yeah i think there's, there's definitely some give there <laughs> yeah so you know then that will give it more drape um but you know i i don't know what it's you know knitters they often are tight crochets but that's that's fine <laughs> so when are you getting married amy Next August. <laughs> it should have been should have been this August, but uh, we've got quite a big um, guest list, so I thought I'll just postpone till next year. Oh, that's wonderful news. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, anyone else got any questions? No. Oh. So we're, all <laughs> we're all set. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and I hope you um, get to interpret it how you want to interpret mm. it 
get what you want from it. Um, and we're on Facebook. Always post your pictures. We love, love seeing what you've made. And if you're not on Facebook, you can send them to us or Sam is in the shop most Fridays. So you can pop in and see her if you're stuck or because um, I'll be of no help to you. <laughs> <laughs> and Ella's there on Saturday and she'll be able to help. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, then. You're welcome. Yep. Thank Thanks you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Sam. Yeah, that was lovely, Sam. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, really useful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>